Welcome to another edition of JavaScript for you. One of the things I haven't gone into a lot of detail on is some of the extra parameters that can go to functions like get and load. And I'll be getting into that in the future. Right now what I want to do is kind of do a prerequisite for that. If you're going to send additional data, that data needs to be serialized. And the way you serialize it is with standard Erl encoding. You know, the thing where you have the question mark equal or ampersand equal. And most frameworks, if you're working with any programming language, C, Java, uh, Smalltalk, anything, you'll notice that they have frameworks to Erl encode arbitrary strings. You know, so you take a dictionary of stuff and you can create an Erl encoded entity out of that. Well, JavaScript's no different. Here I have a person object I've created and I've given it a first name, a last name, an age, and an eye color. And what I want to do is Erl encode that so that as part of the data that I'm going to send to some server for some arbitrary function that doesn't exist in this case, I can get that up there. So let's see how that all puts together. We'll press this Erl encoded button and there we get first name equal James, ampersand, and so on. So I've Erl encoded my object and now I can attach it as data to any JavaScript function or jQuery function more properly that expects data to be passed along. Like the load function that I went through last time where we weren't passing data but if the server needed data to do some additional processing this is how I would send it along. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with JavaScript.